like all of you guys, people listening and watching, we all face death. Uh, we all have stories of loved ones who have died. Uh, in um, 2012, Valentine's Day 2012, my late wife was diagnosed with stage four ovarian cancer. It was a complete surprise. That's a, it's a very stealth cancer. And so we began the journey 30 months later, Bobby stepped into heaven. Um, and I had the joy of being her primary caregiver. I mean, because I was healthy enough to be able to do that, why would I invite somebody I didn't know to, to be next to her, to be with her? In fact, all the way to the very end, and I tell the story in the book, my daughters came in. I have two daughters, 50 and 47, and they were the three of us were together, four of us were together in the living room, the hospital bed in the living room. And uh, actually, Bobby turned to me, and she was wide awake. I'm telling you, she was wide awake. She turned to me. She took me by the shirt. She pulled my face in right next to hers. She said, I love you so much. And she died. The, the hospice nurse was there. She had just been there for a few minutes. She put her hand on Bobby's chest, and she said, she's not breathing. She's gone. So I tell that story because Bobby's death, the courage that Bobby exhibited the 30 months of her dealing with cancer eliminated, I know that sounds crazy, eliminated my fear of death. Uh, you know, the scripture says, in fact, her favorite go-to verse was 1 Corinthians 2.9. It's amazing. Listen to this. Eye has not seen, ear has not heard, neither has it entered into the heart of man the things that God has prepared for those who love him. So, like, when you're in, you're in the car and you're headed for vacation, the fact that you're going to a place that everybody can't wait to be with or be there, the, the joy your kids are experiencing in the backseat on their way, the destination has everything, everything to do with how you feel about the journey and how you feel about death. So my friend Randy Elkhorn was kind enough to give the, uh, the endorsement. He wrote, of course, the, the seminal work on heaven. So knowing where we're going and being ready for heaven makes all the difference. Wow, I mean, it certainly does. So uh, I appreciate you being open with us and sharing that very touching story of, of Bobby's. Uh, in fact, you, you even mentioned that at her memorial service, you had a video that you uh, had taken unbeknownst to her. Could you just tell us a little bit about that? Because I thought it was so touching. Well, I, I shot a video from the balcony of our home in Florida and Bobby loved to walk and she loved to sing. And she's singing, when we walk with the Lord, John Samus wrote this in 1887, trust and obey. Mm -hmm. So I actually took that video and then at the end of her funeral service in November of 14, across the screen on a black screen were the white letters Except a kernel of wheat fall into the ground and die, it remains a single seed. But if it dies, it produces many seeds. That's John 12, 24. And Jesus spoke those words. And, and specifically, he was talking about himself. Imagine the harvest that resulted from the death of Jesus Christ. But it's a challenge to us that, that when we die, there will be a harvest based on the seed that is planted uh, our own death, the things that we've done during our life will produce a harvest after we're gone. That's a great challenge for all of us. January 2nd, uh, 2023, Nancy and I are watching Monday Night Football, and a Buffalo Bill a defender made a tackle and dropped dead. Do you remember it? DeMar oh. Hamlin was his name. Right. Yeah. And every player on the field went to their knees. And it's, it's fun because the um, former quarterback for the Bills, uh, uh, Bill, uh, Jim, Jim Kelly, his wife, uh, Jill, is a very good friend, knows Jesus, loves Jesus. So we were in, con in contact immediately. And here's, here's the point. When, when we're facing death, the gospel takes on a whole new meaning. Mm -hmm. Knowing Christ is something that everybody is interested in. ESPN, there was an announcer on ESPN who said, Everybody's talking about praying for DeMar Hamlin. Let's pray right now, mm -hmm. right, right on television. I mean, talk about something that's never happened before. But when, when you're facing death, when I'm facing death, the truth of the gospel, the power of the gospel takes on a whole new meaning. So Jesus died 
and rose again so that we did not don't need to fear the same fate the death that is eminent for us so uh this this is all part of dispelling the fear of of our own death knowing the veracity knowing the truth of the gospel changes everything we have something to hang on to and and i talk in the book about being ready that is knowing christ before this happens to us you know the anticipation of heaven changes everything and the truth of the gospel jesus came lived died and rose again for our salvation to bring us to faith in him Thank you so much, Robert, for sharing that. And if you just listen to that and you want to give your life to Jesus, give us a call on our prayer line at 888-665-4483. We have a prayer partner who will connect with you and lead you to the next steps. And one thing, Robert, you just mentioned Damar Hamlin. Damar is actually from Pittsburgh, and it's kind of apropos because the Steelers and the Buffalo Bills did a preseason game on Saturday that they played. We actually, the Steelers actually won. But uh, we just, amen. just want, yeah, amen. We just wanted to, like, mention that because we were talking about Damar Hamlin and just the amount of prayer and just in that situation, that life and death situation because so many people we will find ourselves in those moments and it's important that we That's know right. where we're going and with Jesus.